Amateurvideos, zumeist aus fahrenden Autos gefilmt, zeigen die Himmelskörper als spektakuläre Lichtblitze am Morgenhimmel. Laut russischem Innenministerium gab es beim Niedergang eines der Meteoriten eine Explosion. Dutzende Personen sollen Verletzungen erlitten haben. Den Angaben zufolge ließ die Druckwelle in mehreren Ortschaften das Glas bersten. Der Meteoritenhagel in Russland ist auch deswegen so gut dokumentiert, weil es dort bei Autofahrern fast schon zur Standardausrüstung gehört, eine fest installierte Kamera an Bord zu haben. Der Grund ist einfach. Wenn es zu einem Unfall oder einem Überfall kommt, kann der Fahrer im Zweifelsfall den Hergang gegenüber der Polizei oder seiner Versicherung nachweisen. Dank der sogenannten Dashcams ist in den vergangenen Jahren fast so etwas wie ein neues Genre von Webvideos entstanden. Die verrücktesten Vorfälle auf Russlands Straßen. Bizarre story from Russia. 500 people have been hurt by a visitor from space. A meteorite, or perhaps more than one, passed over southern Russia, eventually exploding in midair, producing an intense flash and a shock wave that broke windows. Officials say most of the injuries were caused by flying glass. Phil Black joins us now from Moscow with more on this. Phil, what more do we know? Well, Melita, the number of people who were injured just in these few terrifying moments have been climbing through the morning, and there have been conflicting reports from various government agencies, but the number, the lightest official government numbers seem to indicate consistently that there are more than 500 people injured by broken and shattered glass as a result of this media strike. Uh, we believe that dozens are certainly being treated in hospital, and a few of those may be in pretty grave, uh, maybe in a pretty bad way. It was just a few moments. Let's just listen now to uh, a regional ministry uh, emergency spokesman describing what took place in the skies over this Russian region of Chelyabinsk at around 9.20 this morning. In the sky over the city of Chelyabinsk, an object was spotted which flew in the air with high speed, leaving a trace in the sky. Two minutes later, three consecutive explosions were heard, and the resulting impact wave smashed windows in the city of Chelyabinsk and neighboring cities. So, Roscosmos, the Russian space agency, has estimated that this one large meteor was traveling at around 30 kilometers a second as it struck the Earth's atmosphere. It is at that point that it is believed to have broken up, fracturing into smaller pieces, triggering these sonic booms and shock waves across the area, which have not resulted in any major substantial or structural damage to buildings, but hundreds have had their windows blown out, and as a result, that has in turn injured hundreds uh, of people, but mostly, so far, not seriously. The extraordinary thing is, Benita, that this all took place, as I say, in just a few months. Phil, how are people describing what actually happened to them in the minutes, or I should say, the seconds before this happened? Well, the videos that's emerging from this region this morning gives a very strong indication, and a lot of it seems to have actually caught the actual moment that either the large meteor or fragments from it were actually tearing through the Earth's atmosphere. And from this video, we can see the streaks of something like smoke and from the friction caused by uh, this large piece of rock as it uh, enters the atmosphere. We hear the explosion that follows a few moments later and then the sound of broken glass uh, almost everywhere. There, there is no doubt that this was a terrifying experience for these people, completely caught, unprepared uh, by this. It was around 9.20 this morning, local time, as I say, around the time that most people are at work, going to work, at school, driving, living their normal early morning lives. When this took place, completely without any sort of warning. We do know that there is a large asteroid on a near-Earth trajectory that is due to pass reasonably close to the Earth, but that's still some hours away. And the analysis from space agencies around the world so far seems to indicate that this completely unexpected event is not linked to that passing, passing asteroid. Minute.